I swear, someday I'm going to get tired of talking about Nintendo Switch 2. Probably like five years after the damn system comes out. Because today, we have some more information for you about Nintendo Switch 2. Now, as I noted over on X, formerly Twitter. Man, it feels weird saying that. Look, all of this stuff needs to be taken with a grain of salt. Some of it is just some more predictions coming from insiders and Nintendo insiders in particular, but some of it's actually report information, like actual news reports on stuff around Nintendo Switch 2 today. We'll have everything timestamped down below so you can kind of go by the sections because there'll be three sections to this. But remember, all of it is technically unverified information. Nintendo has not announced the system outside of the fact that it exists. They did say back in 2021 that Nintendo accounts were going to be forward compatible to Nintendo's next generation device coming out in 20XX. And Nintendo commented on rumors on the Nintendo Switch 2 last year, which confirmed the Nintendo Switch 2 exists, just that maybe every single rumor and report out there around it may or may not be accurate. Nintendo's wording around it was pretty much a denial without denial. It was kind of weird, but you know what? We're not here to talk about that because we have to talk about the new stuff presented today. And this first little tidbit is just a fun conversation point coming from Andy Robinson, the creator of Video Game Chronicle. In my opinion, one of the most reputable news sites in the world for video games. And here's what he had to say. I'm expecting a DS to 3DS style transition for Nintendo's next console. Maybe it ditches Joy-Cons and adds another gimmick, but the portable slash dock core remains. Now, this is a fascinating take for several reasons. The chief among it being that whole DS to 3DS transition. 3DS was very much an iterative system, but it did come with that big quote-unquote gimmick in the glasses-free 3D, which they later released versions of the system without because it turned out for a large chunk of the population, 3D, you know, the glasses-free 3D, even the 3D where you wear glasses, gives you headaches and a lot of other issues and it turns out certain age groups like certain young children really shouldn't be consuming that kind of content anyways sort of a oversight by nintendo at the time and the most popular versions of the system typically ended up being the ones that you didn't have 3d or if you had the 3d effect a lot of people just put the slider to off so look we don't know what that means for this system of course this is just his expectation he essentially is saying this is going to be an iterative system and yeah whatever this gimmick or whatever new thing is probably won't be a game changer or a massive deal nintendo will make a big deal out of it remember how big a deal they made out of hd rumble but it might be more of a hd rumble style gimmick rather than something that fundamentally changes the game now this next person we're going to talk about is none other than necro felipe he is a known insider but also he runs a brazilian website called Nintendo Universo. He's already been the source of several rumors and reports over the past year, and he's had several accurate details out there. Now, he's got stuff out there about Nintendo Switch 2 last year as well, which is one reason they pay attention here, because he clearly has some inside sources on this sort of information. So I want to just dive into his predictions, even though these are just predictions. Some of it is based on information he's actually already reported on. So let's just dive in and take a look. And you're seeing over here his post, but we're going to go down to the translated version. Again, this is translated by Google. So you know, take that for what you will. It might not be a perfect translation, but he says, how much fuss surrounds a forecast made by an analyst, huh? Talking about the Dr. Serkin Toto stuff. This is what I made clear in the article, and yet people took it as religion. I was going to make the prediction myself. It doesn't mean it'll be something absolute. So he says he thinks it'll be announced in March and launch in June. Uh, more powerful than a Steam Deck. Uh, that is a nice claim. I, I, I'd like to see more claims like that just to give us an idea of how powerful this machine might be. It will continue to be hybrid. It will have improved Joy-Cons. So unlike Andy Robinson, he thinks there will be Joy-Cons still. It'll just be improved. It'll be backwards compatible with the Switch 1. Improved UI. And here's one of these sort of that's going to make a lot of you guys happy if it happens. Themes and music. A lot of you guys want that menu music. A lot of you guys want themes. He's like, hey, 
That's one way this thing could differentiate itself from the original Switch. He says it'll have support, or he is hoping or predicting it'll have support for DLSS, Wi-Fi 6, thank you, uh, 12 gigabytes of RAM, which that is something he's actually reported on before, HDR, hey, second time we've seen that brought up, and initially with 256 gigabytes of storage. Again, something that he has been on the forefront of reporting last year. He thinks it'll be at a suggested retail place of our dollar, $3,599. Again, that's $399 US. Uh, he does say that the main lineup for the launch window of the system, he feels like will be 3D Mario, Pokemon, and Metroid. So probably Metroid Prime Four. Now, he says this is a prediction, not to treat this as something special. And yes, the prediction does contain information that he has presented in the past as inside information, but that means it's not necessarily new. It might be new to some of you who maybe didn't catch those videos last year because you were avoiding all the Nintendo Switch 2 talk in 2023 and you're paying more attention now in 2024, which if that's the case, I don't blame you, right? Like you were just wanting to enjoy your Switch. You wanted to play your Tears of the Kingdom, your Mario Wonders, your Scarlet Violet DLC, and whatever other games you chose. Maybe you were one of those few people who bought WarioWare and wanted to play it. So I understand and maybe you just avoided this stuff last year, but now that we're in 2024, the year most of us expected the system to come out, then yeah, maybe now you just learn this stuff for the first time. I find a lot of this to be interesting. Obviously talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 and its possible improvements, like 12 gigabytes of RAM is really Really about what we want we'd love to see it up to 16 gigabytes but we want this thing to have at least 12 256 gigabytes of storage still might be actually kind of low but i guess at launch if you're keeping costs down while also maintaining support for up to two terabytes worth of micro sd cards maybe they even give us multiple micro sd card slots that could be one way as well uh, to combat the fact that 256 gigabytes look we're getting call of duty in the future and that's going to take up like half the storage on its own but hey, I'm just really excited to see some of this stuff out here. And again, these are just more predictions, but we have some actual news as well. And when I say actual news, again, still treat this as a rumor. This is unverifiable by anyone but the actual source. But this does come from Necro Felipe again. And remember, I told you, he also is a news reporter. And uh, this app happened yesterday when he was reporting on the Dr. Sirkin Toto stuff. And he threw some new information in there. Uh, that is quite fascinating to talk about. And this is about release timing and manufacturing. So this is the article here, and it's been translated by Google uh, into English. So it's normally in uh, Brazilian Portuguese. Anyways, coming down here, you'll see this is all about the Dr. Circuntoto stuff. You see the title, the analyst predicts, yada, yada, right? So this is about the, the Dr. Circuntoto. This is stuff we talked about yesterday. But here is where it gets fascinating. According to information obtained by Universal Nintendo itself, assemblers, now this is the key point, this is assemblers, not, not the core of manufacturing, right? So the core of manufacturing is making the chips, making the screens, making the parts for the system, okay? So he's not talking about the parts being made. That's actually rumored to have started last November where parts manufacturing began, but assembly hasn't necessarily begun yet, just making all the individual components. So he is saying that assemblers contracted by Nintendo should begin their mass manufacturing process on the new system during this quarter. So this quarter is literally January, February, March. So that's literally going to be happening, according to him, his report, this quarter. So they're going to be assembling these things in mass. That means the components are already being manufactured. Again, Component manufacturing was rumored last November. This is different. Assembly manufacturing is, that's usually when leaks start to come out from manufacturing lines because they're getting all the components in and actually putting them together. You guys remember we had things like the Switch Lite backplate got leaked and stuff like that. So maybe expect a few uh, manufacturing leaks over the next few months. But he also says, according to our sources, an announcement of the new system should be made by Nintendo during the first half of 2024. Now, I know, right? No shock. The first half of 2024 literally goes through the end of June. So giving us basically the early to summer window to announce the system is casting a pretty wide net and is really fits in the expectation of most of us. There wasn't very many of us that felt like, you know, if this thing was coming in September or even November, that Nintendo would wait till July or August to talk about it, right? Most people thought by the end of June at the latest is when they would announce it if it's actually coming out in 2024. But still, it's just nice to have further, 
I want to say confirmation, but further information, I suppose, out there suggesting that Nintendo will be announcing the system in the next six months. Now, another thing I want to bring up, and this I wasn't planning to do, but I do think it's noteworthy. Remember how we said there was a chance there might be a January event uh, showcasing the Nintendo Switch 2, maybe just a teaser trailer or whatever? Well, the source on that was actually Zuby Tech, and Zuby Tech is a PlayStation insider who is followed literally by some of the upper brass at PlayStation and has had uh, some pretty fascinating stuff come true over the years and is worth paying attention to, especially if you're a PlayStation fan who likes to have insider slash rumor information. But I wanted to reach out and see if he had heard anything else or if he still thinks there's something happening this month. And here's what he said. Uh, I said, hey, Zuby Tech, you still hearing something about Nintendo happening in January? Smiley face. And he says, last I heard... Haven't heard anything since. So basically, according to the last thing he has heard, it is happening in January. And one thing I like about Zuby Tech is the transparency here. He didn't have to respond to me. He, you know, is a bit of a PlayStation homer, but he chose to, hey, realizing Nintendo accounts are paying a bit of attention to him because of that report he made. He's not trolling people with that report. He's standing by it and saying, hey, it's still the last thing I heard. I haven't heard anything since meaning that he hasn't heard it's been canceled or moved or anything. He's still standing by the idea the system could be teased in January. Now, again, this doesn't mean it's actually going to be teased in January. And yes, this would, if it was, it would still fall within the first six months of the year, first half of the year, right? January is still part of the first half, just the beginning of it. So it, it's quite fascinating to see if this ends up coming true. I know some people are trying to not have that expectation. You don't want to get too hyped. I like to hype irresponsibly. Uh, one thing I do think we're going to get for sure in the first few months here is, you know, hey, a Nintendo Direct, right? And we'll talk about that because we have some potential possibilities coming up here for the first Nintendo Direct of the year. So we're going to be talking about that in a future video. But today, this video here anyways, was focused on all of this Switch 2 information. You guys do with this stuff what you will. Uh, let me know if you appreciated the timestamps in this one, especially since we had so many different like sources and so much different information popping around from predictions to leaks to inside information to whatever you want to call this stuff. Again, make sure that you take this all with a grain of salt. Keep your tinfoil hats on. My tinfoil hat actually got crushed by a box i is, is that a good thing or a bad thing i i'm not sure yet I'll catch you guys in the next video oh i'm testing my microphone making sure the levels are good oh man a little unique new york new york oh man unique new york unique new york unique new york <laughs> Why am my voice warm up so bad? Okay.